Indianapolis, among the things you know about LeBron James are his three championships and four MVPs. You know he made good on his goal of returning to Cleveland and winning a championship for the region of his birth. His block on Andre Iguodala in Game 7 was perhaps one of the finest defensive plays in NBA history, given the magnitude of the moment. Seven finals in a row, the personal accolades, all the points and rebounds and assists and steals and whatever else, you know James is at the top or near the top of countless categories, but a piece of James' legacy appears to be in danger. He's never lost a first-round series. The Cavs trail the Pacers 2-1 with Game 4 coming tonight. Cleveland has lost 5 of 6 to Indiana this year, counting regular season games, and another loss tonight would not be ideal. Michael Jordan lost three times in the first round. Kobe Bryant, twice, James dominance in the first round. Until this series, he hadn't lost a game in the opening round dating to May 6, 2012. 21 straight wins, is just one small piece of James' legacy. But a first-round loss to the Pacers, especially if this turns out to be James' last season in Cleveland, is something people will remember about him. Not ahead of all the titles and greatness, but somewhere on the page. And James was clearly not amused when he was asked about it Sunday at shootaround. I don't talk about my legacy, James said. When he was reminded that he occasionally does, he disagreed and said, I told you my legacy is bigger than basketball, I've always told you that. What I do on the floor is going to take care of itself, but what I do in my community and what I do with my foundation and the kids that I continue to inspire, that's my legacy. This basketball thing, it will come and it's going to go. So, you know that. James knows he has made comments before about his legacy. He told Cleveland.com last season he has nothing left to prove. After the 2016 finals, he talked about chasing Jordan's ghost. In an interview with Slam magazine, he spoke of how he wants to be remembered after he retires. First of all, that I was one of the most unselfish basketball players that played this game, at a level that he didn't have to be unselfish but it's just part of my DNA, James said. I cared for my teammates more than anything, but when I stepped out on the court, I gave it my all. There was never a moment when I didn't give it my all. James' numbers are there in this series. He's averaging 32.7 points, 11.3 rebounds, and 8.3 assists in about 42 minutes. He's shooting .540 from the field, his third highest field goal percentage in 13 postseasons. His teammates are shooting 67 of 165, .406, in the series. James has been so far and away the Cavs' best player and it's not close, and yet, league insiders say, it's obvious when James gets interested and takes over a series, that's not happened yet. We haven't scored at the level we're capable of scoring, so it will be a collective group going into Game 4 and everybody just trying to feel comfortable and making shots, James said.